Success on the mat is all about wanting it. Wrestling is a grueling sport requiring self-discipline and work ethic, and nobody wants it more than Xander Baker. It's like all you. It's how much you want to train, get better, and basically how much you train, it basically shows on the mat because you show how much you've learned. But back in late July, his hopes of ever wrestling again were in serious doubt. He's here. He was electrocuted during a game of hide-and-seek gone wrong and required a life flight from his hometown of Wilbur to a burn unit in Lincoln. He had third-degree burns in six places, couldn't lift his right arm or his left foot. His parents, Brian and Carrie, were just thankful he survived. It, like 50 milliamps can stop your heart, and we're talking hundreds and hundreds of amps at that high voltage, so it's... Uh, a miracle. <laughs> I mean, when we talked in August, Xander still had skin graft surgeries ahead of him. Doctors took sections of skin from his head and back, placed them on his wounds, and used 200 staples to fortify the new skin. When I woke up from surgery, it was awful pain. It was horrible. It felt like somebody was taking like a rigid knife and they were sawing part of my head when I woke up. I had to be put on so much meds. His desire to return to the mat is what helped him endure it all and heal. I'm really excited. I wanted to take some people down and I'm ready to wrestle. I really wanted to be back before wrestling even started, but I didn't think that was going to happen. But I actually came and proved myself wrong. Xander competed in Wilbur Claytonia's first wrestling meet on Thursday, going four and one. He pinned his first opponent in under a minute. Right before the match, I had a lot of butterflies. I was really nervous to get out there. But once it happened, I was, it felt just like wrestling practice to me. His incredible recovery even surprised his coach. I gave him words of encouragement, but I didn't think there was any way. But after about a week or two, and he kept saying, I'm coming back, I was like, you know, I don't doubt that kid. He, when he sets his mind to something, he, he can do a lot of great things. So. Wrestling not only inspired him to heal, but also gave him the foundation necessary to do it. He's had to work hard before. He's had to set goals before. He, you know, you have to have determination. You get knocked down in wrestling and you have to get back up. And that's why wrestling is a great life lesson. It, it teaches you how to deal with adversity in life. Xander says he's grateful for his parents and coaches for helping him with everything from bandage changes to preparing food and training with him. He hopes they'll be there when he accomplishes his next goal. I want to make it to state, and at most, I want to maybe place at state, but that's going to be a hard if this year, but I'm still going to try my hardest. In Wilbur, Michael Shively, News Channel, Nebraska.